Hi guys, I'm just uh, just doing a quick uh, video, just telling you ingredients that you need when you're on the road, especially if you're doing like uh, tramping. Um, this is uh, my van. It is uh, basically just a Luton van. Nothing special. A bit messy up there, guys. Um, yeah, basically what you need when you're um, living on the road. So I've got a double mattress here. Uh, obviously, it's uh, deflated at the moment. But uh, I, this is like one, you, you can buy these from uh, Millets. You can hand pump them, uh, take a little while, or you can get um, uh, one of those, which is basically just pr uh, plug into your cigarette lighter and pump up your uh, airbed. Uh, the airbed cost, I think, was about 20 quid. You maybe get a little bit cheaper if you bought second hand. I just like getting a, a receipt for everything so you can uh, uh, write it off. Um, yeah, so. I bought everything from Millets, more, um, more or less what I'm going to show you right now. So a double bed I think was £15-20. I got the, um, the the air pump, which basically is a cigarette lighter pump. That will just uh, uh, pump up your bed, no problem. I think that cost about 8 quid, no problem. Um, what else? If you're living on the road doing tramping and you want to make something to eat, a stove. Um, there you go, one of those bad boys, dead easy to, to use. Um, uh, that will cost you around about £10, £12, it's very, very simple. Um, you get like a can, a can of gas, basically, e.g., one of those, can of gas. All you do with a can of gas is put the can of gas into the slot there, um, hook it up, plug it in, and then all you need is one of those, light it up, boom. You can start cooking, guys. That easy. Um, you can get eggs, bacon, on the go, when you're on the road, tramping. Uh, eating sandwiches all the time. Yeah, it's all right, but guys, I like making food. So get yourselves a cooler, get yourself some bacon and eggs, uh, and get uh, cooking, having a decent meal. You can even cook a steak if you want. It's not that hard. Just get yourself a frying pan, get yourself some spray on oil, and there you go, you can start cooking. Don't forget one of those. Everybody needs a drink every now and again. Dead easy. Also important, don't forget your pillow if you're tramping. And don't forget your sleeping bags. Um, those are the basics that you're going to need if you're uh, tramping. You can cook and look after yourself. Your basic toiletries, toothbrush, stuff like that. Even if you need a shower, you can go to a welcome break. Uh, and there are free showers at welcome breaks. You can basically just go into where you normally go to the toilet. Just take your uh, hand, lo hand luggage with you or a simple rucksack. There are free facilities to use if you're tramping. You can go to a welcome break. You can spend an hour, I think, well, you can spend two hours at a welcome break. Don't spend any longer, guys. I've uh, been hit with a uh, parking ticket from parking eye before. So two hours max if you're ever going to, you know, if you want to freshen up. There are other um, uh, motorway services that do this, but welcome break, you know, it's dead easy. They're clean, they're, they're well maintained, they're looked after every uh, every hour so you're not gonna have any problems if you're doing this type of tramping kind of stuff like living on the road um basics what you need for the van is basically all i've got is a sat truck that cost me 20 quid i bought that second hand uh bungee cords come very handy i mean you've got i've got straps i've got plenty of straps uh, they're ideal for the heavy stuff because honestly you do not want a load in your van moving around if you turn around a sharp corner, you're, you're fucked, guys, because that, that load is just going to basically tilt over, and then you're fucked. I've done it once. I don't want to make experience again. So, basically, we have uh, the straps for the heavy stuff. For the lighter stuff, bungee cords will do. Do the job, and it's dead easy to quick. Quick, no, no problem. As you can see, inside of my van, uh, well, it's just a bog-standard space. Um, it's not as sexy. It doesn't have to be sexy. Looting vans are not meant to be sexy. Uh, they're fairly big and um, yeah, they, they carry a, it's a big space and I can get like a ton of weight on his. Um, so it's ideal for mm, a lot of jobs on the CX, any van, uh, Shipley, um, man in the van jobs, couches, fridges. I've had the whole lot on this damn thing. Um, it's a cash machine on wheels. Uh, I think I paid two thousand, yeah, I paid two thousand eight hundred and fifty quid for this uh, van. I checked out the uh, the um, the MLT history. It only failed three times in ten years. It's a ten-year-old van. Only failed three times in ten years. 
I got I got lucky. Uh, I bought it. I had went, put it through a full service straight away. Um, there are a few bits on it I could improve, uh, but I'll do that as I go along. But I've been operating this van for like two months, and I've got an income out of it. I think I've done uh, about five thousand five hundred and fifty pound on the CX alone. I do man in the van stuff, and I do Shipley. I just got onto any van. Guys, you can get a full-time income if you just buy yourself a van. That's it. It's so simple. Um, I think that's what I wanted to do. I think I was like wanting to get uh, more money. But at the moment, I'm thinking... It, it's working. It's working. I haven't quite figured out the fuel uh, yet. I've got a, a, a thing with um, a Shell at the moment where they've given me a fuel card. I could probably get a better deal, but everybody keeps on telling me you've got to be in business for like six months before you can get better deals. So at the moment I've been in business for just over two months and I've turned over just over uh, £6,000 in two months. The van is more or less paid for itself and I've got a full time income. Yes, I'm living on the road, um, but I don't mind it. I, I love camping. I don't mind going everywhere. I'm looking into going into uh, Europe soon. I would love to try that out. Uh, somebody's paying me to go to Portugal, Spain, France. Um, that just sounds my cup of tea. Uh, is it your cup of tea? I have no idea. Is it? I, I would, I'm interested in trying it out. I'll see what happens, guys. Anyway, that's my post for today. Um, all right, catch you later, guys.